Also on Capitol Hill, a controversial bill that uses a child's grades in school to determine how much public assistance a family gets isn't sitting well with some Tennessee Democrats. In fact, the state party's chairman, Roy Heron of Dresden, says that the proposal, backed by State Senator Stacey Campfield, should be called Starve the Children. He says it's radical, reactionary legislation that would take the food out of the mouths of kids with struggling grades. Senator Heron also says Campfield's background doesn't make him an expert on this issue. This legislation is the brainchild and the only child of a bachelor. A bachelor who has ideas about how we ought raise our children based upon his own experiences of never having had children. This bill goes before the state Senate later this week. Tennessee Democrats spoke out today against a bill advancing in the state legislature, which would take away some welfare payments for parents if their children don't perform well in school. Tennessee Democratic Party Chairman Ron Heron laid out $55 worth of groceries to demonstrate how the bill would impact some families. The supporters of the bill say that it encourages more parental involvement in school and point out the legislation has some safeguards to make sure parents who are trying are not penalized. Heron calls it unfair. To abuse children, to take away from their very food and sustenance because they struggle in school, it's not good public policy and it's sure not Christian ethics. The bill is slated for a vote floor in the Senate this Thursday.